Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we have a brand new poster and information for the upcoming Peter Pan horror movie from the team behind Pooh, Blood and Honey. So let's dive into this article, let's check out what's going on with this movie. So, official poster unveiled for Neverland Nightmare, new horror movie from the Pooniverse team. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this, a Peter Pan horror movie, take my money. I mean we have Pooh, Blood and Honey 1 and 2. They significantly updated the budget for the second movie. Those two movies are so cheesy, so funny, but I think they're great. They're so fun, and uh, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with these other movies. So the filmmakers behind Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey are expanding their public domain horror universe with several upcoming Pooniverse movies. Among these are Bambi the Reckoning, Pinocchio Unstrung. I absolutely love that title. That's such a great title, Unstrung, and Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare. Today, bloody disgusting has exclusively unveiled the poster art for Neverland Nightmare. Neverland Nightmare, again, I think they've done a great job with the title of these movies. Neverland Nightmare, that sounds fantastic. So, director Scott Jeffrey, Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare is currently in post-production. So, from that, it sounds like they've shot the movie, it's complete, it's in the barrel, and uh, they're just working on the post-production. So, check out the poster below and read on for all the details about this chilling Peter Pan adaptation. I mean... The synopsis and information behind this film is just absolutely mind-boggling. It sounds ridiculous. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it. A Jagged Edge Productions film distributed by ITN Studios, Wendy Darling sets out to rescue her brother Michael from the evil clutches of Peter Pan. Along the way, she encounters Tinkerbell, who, let's get this right, in the twisted tale, believes heroin is pixie dust. <laughs> I just need to read that again. So Wendy Darling sets out to rescue her brother Michael from the evil clutches of Peter Pan. Along the way, she encounters Tinkerbell, who, in this twisted tale, believes heroin is pixie dust. So basically, Tinkerbell is trying to use the pixie dust, and this actually turns out to be heroin. So, oh my god, this is going to be just catastrophic. Like... I can't wait to see what that's going to look like. My mind is literally boggling with the image of Tinkerbell hooked up on heroin. I mean, yeah, just crazy stuff. So, Jeffrey, the director, shares, uh, This film is much darker in tone compared to Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Given the theme of child abduction, it felt appropriate. Each movie in our Pooniverse will have a distinct feel. So, if this one isn't your taste, the next one might be. Peter Pan is the most vicious of them all. Twisted, cruel, and cunning. <laughs> I mean, so we've got Tinkerbell hooked up on heroin instead of pixie dust. We've got Peter Pan, who's the most cruel um, kind of character in their universe. And uh, it's going to feature about child ab uh, abduction. So this is just setting up to be something absolutely malicious, kind of crazy. Um, abducting children, being hooked up on drugs. I mean, like... Yeah, I just don't even know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> so, created by J.M. Barry in uh, 1902, Peter Pan is a public domain character. Much like Winnie the Pooh, though the iconic Disney version remains under copyright. So yeah, these characters are now in the public domain. For those of you who may not know, I'll just go over this point quickly. So, these, char these classic characters are now in the public domain, which means that me, you, anybody can write a story, we can make a show, we can make a movie, we can do anything we like with these public domain characters. The only one restriction and one thing that you cannot do is use the Disney version of the characters. So you've got characters like uh, Peter Pan here, which is going to be used in this movie as a public domain character, which is available for anybody, but you cannot use the version that Disney created themselves, the classic iconic looking version. Um, that's restricted. Disney still owns the copyright to that, that version of the character. But apart from that, you can use Peter Pan. You just have to kind of um, generate your own kind of edition of the character if you like, and then you're free to use it as you like. So here we have a uh, picture of what Peter Pan's going to look like. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks like a creepy dude here. Um, he's got a kind of a flak jacket on with a hoodie. Um, he's got long hair. He's got a scar on one side of his face. He's got a very ominous kind of creepy looking stare. Um, it looks like he's going to be wearing this kind of mask. It's kind of like a, a Phantom of the Opera mask almost. Um, that looks very, very creepy. How much he's going to be wearing this mask, I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, I mean, this 
this picture looks pretty cool this guy looks creepy i wouldn't want to meet this guy in a dark alleyway <laughs> but um this guy's going to be abducting children apparently so uh yeah make of that what you will that's pretty creepy so moving on to this this is the newly released poster here for neverland nightmare and this is all kinds of creepy so let's just have a bit of a breakdown here so in the background <laughs> i did like guys i mean come on so we have a picture here of what looks like to be a young woman or a young girl um and a knife is being held to her head and we see that she's being scalped basically her head is being cut off the top and um it looks like her hair is being cut off the top of her head and uh i mean just seeing that as the first part of this poster that's pretty damn scary there uh we have again in the background here i don't know who this character is is this peter pan himself i'm not sure Oh, no, that's Captain Hook. He's got a hook here. Sorry, I apologize. So this is going to be Captain Hook by the look of it. He's got this huge hook here. I'm sure there's going to be some uh, pretty chilling kills with this big hook. We've got another woman here in the in the uh, side of the poster. She's got her fingers chopped off. So we've got someone being scalped at the top. A creepy Captain Hook. We've got someone with their fingers being chopped off. Then down below here, we've got a birthday cake on top of someone's head. This looks again to be one of the creepy characters in the movie. Um, I'm not sure if that's Peter Pan himself. It's hard to tell. But there's a birthday cake that's melted on top of his head. At the bottom here, we have, um, again, I think this is Peter Pan or is that Captain Hook? It's hard to tell who these characters are, so I do apologize. We've got this creepy character popping out of the basement here. So this is kind of creepy looking. Uh, we've got a clown character, almost kind of giving it vibes. Um, there's a lot of balloons in the image. There's a character down here holding a balloon. Um, this is Peter Pan here. Uh, he's holding a syringe. So is he going to be sedating children to abduct them? Which is kind of creepy. We've got these two children here in the foreground. These might be some of the main characters. Um, again, two characters here. But yeah, the fact that someone's being scalped here and then someone's got missing fingers. Um, yeah, just creepy as hell. The birthday cake melting on the head. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Kind of cheesy. I kind of like that. But yeah, Peter Pan here, obviously in the middle of the poster. Again, he's got that mask that he's holding on to. So it looks like that's going to be a main part of the costume that he's going to be wearing, which is kind of cool. But yeah, guys, so that's the newly released Peter Pan Neverland Nightmare uh, poster. That gives you kind of the tone of where they're going with this movie. Chopped fingers, people being scalped. So, uh, you know, if you're squeamish, I don't think this movie is going to be for you. But um, yeah, it's definitely going to be absolutely all kinds of bonkers. Take my money. I cannot wait to see it. But that's kind of just where we are, guys. So that's just kind of a small update, uh, just showing the poster here. And this kind of image of Peter Pan here with this mask. Looks creepy. Looks kind of cool. Can't wait to see where they go with this. They're building up this Poonaverse. They have said that they're officially going to be crossing over these characters. So they're going to have Pinocchio, Peter Pan, Winnie the Pooh kind of all crossing over for like an Avengers style team up movie. So you're going to have all these creepy Pooniverse horror characters coming together, crossing over into a movie in the future. And uh, that's going to be absolutely off the chain. Can't wait to see it. But guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. What do you think about this poster? What do you think about this image from the movie? Does it get you excited to see it? And uh, what do you think about it? Do you think it looks cool? Are you excited for the future of the Pooniverse? Or do you think it's just dumb and ridiculous? Whatever your thoughts, comments and opinions are, pop them down below, guys. Hit that like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one.